What are altcoins? So the altcoins are the ones that are apart from Bitcoin. So what has actually been happening is that Bit, uh, Bitcoin is market cap relative to the total of cryptos is slowly eroding. So there's all these new coins that are coming out that think they're faster, they've got new features, they're different. Ethereum has a big, uh, been a big challenger of late, um, and they've gone grown even faster, even sooner. Um, so they've caught up because they, they've, they're a little bit quicker, they don't they do it this way. So there's many different technolo technological quirks that are being added or amended as the technology gets better and fresher. And of course, Bitcoin has kind of written its constitution. You kind of get a bit constrained by your original um, decisions that you make in inception. And later, those things can be a little bit of a headache. Mm -hmm. So hence we get these forks and all that. So the altcoins are everything outside of um, Bitcoin. So talk to us about the interaction between Bitcoin and altcoin. Yes, so generally when there's been a little bit of a calming in the crypto space um, and people there's a little bit of fear, one of the first points of call is Bitcoin. It's the old man of um, the crypto world if we can call it that and the crypto does feel like you know one week is seven weeks it is dog years um, so Bitcoin we say old it's essentially 2009 you know it's not really old but nonetheless so when when the old coins when there's a, a very strong risk on the environment and it's expansive the old coins the smaller coins are often going quicker so you get the higher beta. So the beta is a kind of a financial term. So to explain that, everything moves faster on the smaller ones. It's kind of like a penny stock or silver relative to gold. If gold goes up 1%, silver's gone up 3 um, So it's a, it's a good idea in the very risk-on moments um, where everyone's comfortable with risk and there's not too much fear around to be in the altcoins. As it gets a little bit more cautious and things have extended very much, you might see a bit of a retreat from the alts into Bitcoin and if it gets out and out fearful in the entire crypto realm you'll get that move from Bitcoin into Tether um, as the main one, as, the, as one of the main safe havens. That's the equivalent, close to equivalent of putting it in fiat currency. Yeah. So altcoins seem fast, they seem, that, um, they seem great, like they're growing fast. What kind of research should we be doing before we invest in them? Yes, I think people need a methodology and we focus on methodology in terms of what we do. Whatever people do, whether they engage with ourselves or to have a, uh, go, for them, go for it on their own, they should have an approach and a methodology. I think you probably have to look at the market and say, if I'm going to invest in crypto, what percentage of my net worth is going there, then that particular segment that you decide to put in there, let's say you're quite aggressive and you're young and you're going to speculate and you're putting quite a substantial point, you need to be careful, you want to probably hold the top 10 by market cap. That's far more liquid, you can get out in and out a lot easier. Um, so that would be the likes of Ripple, uh, Ethereum, there's also Ethereum Classic which has had a fork, Bitcoin, um, Dash, Litecoin, you know, these are all in your top 10. Then you might want to speculate a little bit and that can be your ICOs. But bear in mind there you need to have done a little bit more fundamental research. Is there a real business? Is there a real reason to own the coin? So a lot of these coins don't have reasons that people will actually use them. If it's just the bigger idiot methodology and hey there's a whole bunch of money coming in here, someone else is going to buy it off me at a later point. Eventually when we have a calming in that market, if it doesn't have a practical use for, to be retained and to be exchanged um, with others, then you have a problem. So you want to see it on a lot of exchanges, your coin eventually. They initially start just on one, you can only buy and sell there, it'll often be a smaller exchange, um, big gaps. You know you're speculating. It needs a raison d'etre. 